Well, earlier I sat down with the president of the Oklahoma School of Science and Mathematics, Edna Manning. Dr. Manning, what has made the School of Science and Math so successful in recent years? I think the single most important factor has been the focus on academics and the commitment of our young people to learn and the commitment of our faculty to ensure that they do learn. Now give me some idea when you say focus on academics, what do you do that's different? We do not have many of the traditional activities that typical American high schools have. Uh, academics drive everything we do. We run a collegiate schedule. Our students are in class much as they would be at college, Monday, Wednesday, Friday classes, Tuesday, Thursday classes, and then science labs that run two to three hours in length. They take the equivalent of about 23 college hours a semester while they're with us. Uh, we do have a lot of fun. They're interesting young people. They enjoy each other but they're free to be who they are and to be valued for the intellect that they do have. And as we just saw, these students are living there on campus. What, who, how does that benefit everyone? It gives us a chance to remove a lot of the distractions that are typical in the American high school. We actually have these young people 24 hours a day so we can focus the activities to complement the academic program. We never forget that we're dealing with human beings but we're taking some very bright young people who've never had to work before. If they didn't understand it the first time the teacher said it, nobody understood it. And what we're doing is challenging them at a level where they really have to think, they have to grapple with issues and concepts to be able to come to the right conclusions. And Oklahoma is making this investment in students, but it's not costing the parents a thing. No, it is free to the parents, and I think that's the beautiful part of it, because in this country today, if you have enough money, you can get a very high quality education. But the state of Oklahoma has stepped forward and said, we're going to make this available to young people who have the ability and who have the interest in working hard and learning. And as you found, the success doesn't stop in high school. These students have done very well for themselves. They have. We have had just over a thousand young people graduate in our history. And when we look at those young people and look at the data, we have found that more than half of them have stayed in Oklahoma for their undergraduate education, primarily OU, OSU, and the University of Tulsa. Of those thousand young people, those have been out of school long enough to earn a degree and go to work. More than half of them are working right here in Oklahoma, and we're happy about that. Well, we certainly uh, think it's a fantastic program, and one we'd like to follow throughout the school year. We'll be happy to have you and look forward to seeing you again. All right. Thank you, Dr. Manning. Okay. Thank you.